So how important are the words we speak? First off, I want to say, what's most important by far is what we think, the thoughts that we think. Oops, these. <laughs> so, uh, unlike what some teachers like you now, Eckhart Tolle, which is my, my he's like one of my favorite teachers ever, he changed my life. Unlike what he might emphasize, we aren't just like the victim of our thoughts. Our thoughts don't just happen like digestion, unconsciously. We can learn and train ourselves to think what we want. And it becomes from like 99% unconscious programmed thoughts from society to much more aware, conscious and true, soul aligned thoughts. Stuff that's true and feels good. Rather than stuff that's a whole lot of nonsense that isn't true and it feels terrible. So it's just training and programming and practice, that's all. And that, that's why people feel terrible and that's why with practice they get to feel really good. Nearly all of the time, or at least decent all of the time. It's just a step up of the ladder, the rating of how well or average or bad you feel practice. So I encourage you to get inventive with your thinking, creative, think new thoughts and habits that you don't usually think about. So regarding our words, for example, saying, oh, I was dead happy. You know, some people avoid Some people avoid the word like dead or to think it's negative. To some people it can appear negative depending on how you, the meaning you give death. Which I love death, it's one of my favourite things in the world. I love it. Death and sexual energy, creative energy, sexuality, sexual nature. Beautiful. I love the bottom, I love the base chakras and the, and the top chakras. Like I said in another video, the, tr the top part of the tree isn't any better than the root of the tree. They're linked. They're linked and interdependent, interconnected. And you can't say like roots are worse than the leaves. <laughs> that's silly man, that's silly isolationist thinking of the past ego time zone we live in. 